Every time I say one stack, I mean just plus one on his passive, meaning exactly plus one AP. Thanks, and here's this week's terrible video. Uwu, what's this? Another overpowered character I've fallen in love with. Uwu, it's like I love seeing other people suffer. Uwu, I can't help. Stop this. Uwu, call an ambulance. Uwu. Vega's the newest champion in my stupid champ pool. Good enough to play with my friends, but not good enough for ranked. What a limbo I love. I know you hate this boy's laugh as you've heard it too many times, as he's full combo you, or for ADCs he's just pressed R. I can't hate him because you either hate his stupid short guts, or you're a Vagar main and you laugh when he laughs. <laughs> Calm down there you little nightmare, because if I find more ADC on the ground I swear. Vagar is a full AP carry mage. He scales better than any character except for Nasus because of how Vagar is passive and how Nasus's Q passive works. But we are only just here for Vagar. Leave you dog. Glad he's gone. I'm deathly afraid of dogs. When a coincidence, I'm a cat. Vagar's passive is called Phenomenal Evil Power. His gimmick is that he's super small and cute, but he's actually getting stronger and more powerful every second the game goes on until he laughs in your direction and you just go boom. It gives him passive extra ability power every time he kills a unit with an ability. If you're like me and still find reading descriptions that are very vague as how hard or you're just dumb, that means that you can use your W to kill minions in the back and you get stacks and you can use your Q to kill the minions in the front and you'll get stacks too. Took me too many games to realize that W works like that too. Passive when talking about champions is iffy. When hitting a champion with an ability, it only gives you one stack. But that means that hitting a champion with your E, it's a free stack. With your W, yes, another free stack. But with your Alt and Q requires some explanation because ability descriptions become unclear at times. <sighs> I beg you please to help me if I'm wrong in explaining him. He's much more difficult explaining than playing. Let's explain his Q. His Q is a short range skill shot that can only hit two targets and deals magic damage, obviously. It's just a passive is really dumb to try and explain because passively it says you get stacks from killing minions and you get stacks from hitting an enemy champion and when killing said enemy champion you get 5 stacks. But isn't that the normal passive? Yes, exactly, but with this logic that means only Q can stack and it kinda defeats the point of his passive saying abilities. So I'm just gonna sit here confused because I can't comprehend descriptions that I believe haven't been updated in YEARS! Okay, now for an ability that will not require me to get a linguistics degree. Vega's W is a missile-like ability meaning it appears from the sky, but where he placed it is quickly visible to the enemy and has a 1 second delay before the damage happens, so people know quickly to dip out of its range, because at level 1 this ability can chunk anyone and everyone, and he maxes this ability last. This also has a passive that I can explain. It reduces its own cooldown with every 50 stacks Vagar has. And yes, when Vagar has 40% CDR and stacks well, his W, theoretically, can be spammed late game and just one shot anyone and everyone. It's best used in conjunction with his E, just a cage. Like he tells every uh, the enemy team to stay in there like animals, but knowing solo queue, it's probably just one dude and four monkeys. This better scaling Teemo's E is the cage we all know and love. Its proper name is the Event Horizon. So Vagar's cage is a great CC or zone ability that can either tell the enemy team to back off or just give you the quadra. Their choice truly, because you're finding that quadra anyway. It stuns all units if they touch the parameter of this ability, but all inside are not stunned, but they just have to wait there in shame because they were caught inside and they and all the ranged people in your team can start making them regret being a melee into an all 5 range. But its hitbox of this ability is dumb. It looks like Tristana can jump this ability such as Azir's ult, but nope, it basically extends to the top of the world, making it a, making it a zone of CC because League of Legends looks like it's a 3D world, but it's actually a 2D world because I believe it's easier for Riot to deal with 2D, but it's dumb things like this happen. But sometimes, I think some interactions deserve better happenings, such as Lux has a beam cannon that extends to the sky. That is terrifying! <laughs> His ultimate is very aptly named. 
It's called Primordial Burst because it can basically kill you before your whole team kills Vagar, and you have to listen to him bluff and spam in chat worth. It's a point and click ability that does big damage, and it does more damage the more health you're missing. Yes, it does execution damage and it also scales with his AP. But what do I mean when I say execution damage? I mean it works closely to an execution and it will outright kill you if you're missing too much HP. But it will not indicate whether the person is below the threshold. Only four champions have that indication because of how they work. Jogoth noms, Urgot grinds, Pike X marks the spots on your corpse, and Silas steals all three of those ultimates. And only f those four champions are the only champions that deal pure damage to ensure a kill when ulting somebody below the threshold. For reference of what pure damage is, the fountain does pure damage, and the fountain will obliterate anything. But back to Vagar, his basic combo is a stun, W, type in chat for you to pray for mercy, and press R, and that's an instant kill on anyone in the game who isn't fit, and that would literally be Vagar's kill. Like, why? Like, it's his first kill, why is that balance? Vega is my third favorite male Yordle, as he's not cute in the conventional sense, he's just a douchebag every part of the game, and that's amazing. He just has a sense of looming doom over everybody, and there's nothing you can do unless you camp him, but he's just gonna press E and laugh running away from you, so there's no point wasting, wasting pressure on him, on a character that will make you beg for mercy later into the game. <laughs> Vegas is a simple character, and you can grasp what he has to do to win because Vegas stacking is an instant win condition that has to be met if you want to win. Because Vegas can easily just one shot lose your game because you don't have enough stacks or you can't stack efficiently. Again, don't just think you can play him and stack properly because you play Aphilios. Stacking is an art both Vegas and Nasus mains take seriously. It's the question, can you do it efficiently? That's all you need to do. Personally, I have one problem when playing him late game, it's how to position properly to get my damage output, because I keep failing at it. I'm either too close and an ally can't peel for me, or I'm too far away and I can't do my full combo and kill everybody and we just lose because Vagar not damaging anybody is stupid. All I understand is that I need to practice more to get good at this stupid character. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the laughing of this evil boy, subscribe. If no, you're subscribing anyway. I don't make the rules of what you like, but you're still subscribing. And here's the Gar's best voice line. See you next time, cuties. What is a champion? A miserable pile of pixels. His ultimate is very aptly named, it's called Primordial Burst because it can basically kill you before your whole team kills Vagar and you have to listen to him laugh and spam in chat worth. It's a point and click ability that does big damage. It does damage the more missing health you're, mi <laughs> the more missing health you're missing. I, I wanna keep-